The first three Resident Evil games introduced me to survival horror in my early teens, which to this day remains as one of my most favorite genres ever in video games. It's the reason why I played RE2 Remake a couple of years ago. It stuck to the series' old-school survival horror roots, and it absolutely nailed it. RE3 Remake continues to do the same thing, even though it cuts out on a lot of stuff. Despite all that, I still thought it was a great game by itself. So Resident Evil 3 Remake has you playing as Jill Valentine, one of the last remaining people trying to escape the zombie outbreak in Raccoon City. If that wasn't bad enough, she's being hunted by a terrifying bioweapon called Nemesis, all because she's a former member of STARS, a special rescue squad that knows who's responsible for everything that's happening. The last time I played the original RE3 was over a decade ago, which is why I won't be comparing the remake to it that much. My memory is just way too unreliable for that. Even though the remake has cut content, a shorter playtime, and other differences, what I really liked about the story is that it expands on the original game. It has very cinematic cutscenes, and it showed more depth to its characters. I used to think Claire was awesome, but Jill was just so cool in the remake that she's one of my favorite Resident Evil characters now, right next to Ada. And Carlos is completely badass, and I'd say his character design is so much better in the remake too. The gameplay is a mix of action and survival horror. Inventory management and searching for items are still part of the gameplay loop, but I'd say it's far more forgiving than the original game. I've had moments where I wasted ammo and ran out of herbs, but the game always made sure that I'd find more of it. That's just from my experience while playing in standard mode though. I haven't tried other difficulty levels. Personally, I like being able to relax and enjoy the game without stressing out too much about resources and tanky enemies, especially since I was awful at dodging in the game. I think I only learned how to dodge more when I was recording footage for this video, which was after I finished the game on stream. But anyway, exploring the maps was really fun. Parts of the game were linear, but there were also areas that gave you a bit of freedom, like when you explore Raccoon City. I enjoyed backtracking since progressing through the game lets you unlock other sections of the city. The whole place was filled with so much detail, with each area showing the chaos and aftermath of the outbreak. It also felt rewarding to explore every area, since you never know what you'll find. I think the only thing I didn't like about it is that the whole place felt really small. Like, I'm pretty sure that Raccoon City's map was much bigger in the original RE3 game. Now, Resident Evil 3's combat is where most of the action takes place. The game encourages you to use every weapon you acquire to shoot down or blow up zombies, though some enemy types are easier to kill with specific weapons. But as fun as it was to be trigger happy, I was mostly taking my time, shooting enemies with my pistol until I had to use other weapons like the shotgun and grenade launcher. I guess it's just my old school survival horror playstyle kicking in. I still had fun using everything I had during boss battles and stuff. The common zombies weren't really a threat, at least until they got way too close and lunged at me, or there were too many of them, or when they would come back to life. Yeah. I freaked out a lot while playing this. While most of them were easy to shoot at a distance, I never completely got over how scary they could be in the game. I remember playing RE2 Remake and thinking it did an amazing job of showing just how gross and horrifying the zombies and other creatures were with modern graphics. This game continues with that, and all the gore and overly detailed monster designs. They absolutely nailed it with Nemesis too. Encountering Nemesis in the game was both awesome and terrifying. He relentlessly pursues Jill until you progress through the game or find a safe place to stay in. His appearance scared me so much that I could feel my heart racing every time he appeared. The worst part was when he would start sprinting. Seeing him in different points of the game always raised the stakes, but I just wished that he would have continued appearing more as a stalker type enemy. Like, I remember RE2 remakes Mr. X got annoying at times, but I thought he was a scary threat. I was expecting Nemesis to appear more randomly like he did. Instead, he stayed as a sort of scripted enemy slash boss fight throughout the game. 
I still enjoyed the thrill every time he appeared though, but knowing what he was like in the original game made me wish that Remake Nemesis felt more persistent in an unpredictable way. I know I complained about certain things in the game, but in the end, I still had a lot of fun with the remake. Sure, it cut out a lot of content, but I thought it was well paced with little to no filler in between. It balanced horror and action incredibly well, which got my heart pumping in many sections of the game. I also really liked how certain characters and events in Resident Evil 2 directly connected to this game. So if you've played that and wondered about how things ended up the way they were in Leon and Claire's side of the story, then you'll see some of it happen through Carlos and Jill. But yeah, overall, RE3 Remake was incredibly fun. I'm not sure how long it took me to play it exactly. The game's about 6-7 to seven hours long. There's a reward system that gives you points from completing challenges, which you can use to buy weapons, tools, and other stuff from the menu shop after completing the game. I personally didn't pay too much attention to that, but it does give replayability to anyone who wants to go through the game again. But yeah, I thought RE3 was a great, well-paced action survival horror game. I'd say that it's only going to be disappointing if you've played the original game and you pick this up with a lot of expectations. Let me know what you thought about the video, and thank you to my patrons at Patreon for supporting my channel. I'm not done covering Resident Evil games since I finished playing the RE4 one on stream like a month ago or something. Yeah, I was supposed to review Resident Evil 4 before I played this game. It's just the Ada DLC came out, so I figured I should just play that first and then cover RE3 instead. Oh, and Halloween's really close at the time of this video's release, so look forward to another horror game compilation video. And that's it, basically. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.